Fans of the late, great Hank Williams are excited about a new movie that premieres today in Nashville. It's called I Saw the Light, and it tells the story of the legendary singer who, in his brief life, created one of the greatest bodies of work in American music. Rodney Crowell was a consultant on the film, the executive music director. It is a pleasure to have you here with us. How Thank are you? you? I'm good, thank you. Good. All right, so let's talk about this. You had to help the musicians in this film mm -hmm. learn to embody the music that Hank Williams Jr. brought, to, or Hank Williams brought to life. How yeah, do you well, do that? Well, it's, it's not anything you can teach. It's a, it's a matter of discovery. But Tom Hiddleston's a lead actor. He's a, he's a British, classically trained British actor, Shakespearean actor taken on the role of Hank Williams. And one of the first things we had to do is, in, the, in that classic training, is you're taught to, to project your chest voice to the back of a 500 seat theater. And uh, Hank Williams was definitely from the neck up. Sure. And I would say from the knees down too. And uh, it's a different uh, projection. And so there was a lot of deconstruction involved. Tom could sing. Yeah. He's singing tune too, but to learn how to yodel, for an Englishman mm -hmm. to learn how to yodel with a southern accent was a process. I bet it was. And you spent five weeks at your house with him, mm -hmm. pretty much immersed in the yeah. music. Well, I will say this, you know, like he deserves all the accolades he gets because he's a young man. He's a movie star and he comes in, we live south of Nashville. He spent five weeks at our house and he only went to town one night for a business dinner. The rest of the time he was immersed in discovering that character. Wow. And not only did he have to learn to talk, you know, with a southern accent, but, but to sing like Hank mm -hmm. as well. And it's not just you know, mimicking Hank's voice. It's to kind of find the soul of the music. How, how do you do that? Well, you know, it, it's impossible. Hank Williams was one of a kind. And that couldn't, we couldn't achieve that. No one could achieve that. But what we could do is we could achieve a true version of it and to actually uh, record the songs and create the sound, the pre-records for, to perform in the film as true to that music as we could get. And to Tom's credit, he actually did come around and, and learn to yodel <laughs> and learn to sing the blues, country blues. And the, one of the things about Hank Williams' music, it was rooted in, in Plantation South. It came from the blues, moaning the blues, yodeling the blues, sure. and for a young Englishman to learn to do that was no small feat, but he accomplished it with panache. You've seen the movie already. I have. What do you think? Well, I love the movie. It's very true. Uh, it really, it, it, it wasn't like we're going to make the greatest hits of the Hank Williams pantheon, you know, the, his, his legacy. But it was, it was the story of a relationship between Hank Williams and Audrey Williams, his wife. Uh, jealousy, you know, career jealousy, because Audrey Williams wanted to be, she wanted to stand beside Hank Williams as his equal. Yeah. Understandably so, but she didn't have the goods to deliver. And uh, it, so it didn't work out, and, and that marriage faltered. And uh, for folks who may not understand culturally Hank Williams at this point in history, you have to look at him in the late 40s and early 50s. I, I liken him to a rock and roll star like, like Keith Richards. Sure. And probably with a lifestyle, you know, mm -hmm. probably on a par of Keith Richards in the 70s maybe. Sadly, he had a weak heart. Yeah. And he didn't survive. He was he was dead at 29, and with five years of work and and the uh, the legacy he left, it's pretty unbelievable. It really is. Obviously, you're such a wealth of knowledge about Hank Williams, uh, and you're going to be doing a Q and A tonight. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell folks about that. Thanks so much for sharing this with you us. Betcha. We My appreciate pleasure. it. Rodney's pre-show Q and A session is tonight at the Regal Green Hill Cinema before the 7:45 p.m. showing of I Saw the Light. I think you'll want to be a part of that. The movie opens today in all Nashville theaters and then nationwide next Friday, April 1st. I saw the light. It's going to be a good one.